I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. I really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. I really need that money. Really, that money. That money. <clears throat> odd with their algorithms okay okay this is one talking about migrating my pc over uh which we've already talked about it's very, but for those who don't know because i actually uh talked about this last night on the uh stardew valley stream so here's the deal because this is, this is actually a news update for everybody okay so here's the deal my pc is now 10 years old officially this pc right here i, th I think i bought it in june july of 2014 Okay, there's a lot of things that are starting to go wrong with it. One of the hard drives has a bad sector. I don't know where it is, but frequently I get a corrupted video and then I get another corrupted video the next day and I get another corrupted video the next day. Then all of a sudden it goes away, but it's frustrating that every month or so I ended up with like a few days stretch of corrupted videos. Okay, half the fans on the PC case are dying. They've now reached their age limit of 10 years, right? So all this means is that gradually more and more is going to continue to go wrong with this PC now that it's reached this 10-year age limit, correct? So that being said, um, <clears throat> I know it's time to upgrade. It's time that I kind of stop using this PC and I got to do something else, correct? However, in the last few years, I kept trying to get to a point where I could get a new PC and I just keep hitting roadblocks. First of all, two years ago, we sat down and we created a list of components, right? That I should get and build a PC out of. And when we told it, totaled it up, it was around $2,000 or more. And some people even suggested get the higher end stuff to future proof. But what's happened is in the last couple of years, the prices on components go like this. Sometimes they're high, sometimes they're low, sometimes they're high, sometimes they're low. So it's not even sure when to buy. I think at one point someone said I could have got the same PC for like $1,300. And now it, the prices are skyrocketing again, apparently. So I can't really do much about that. That's just the weird market for PC components at this point, okay? Um, so now, right, I'm in a situation, the last two years, I keep looking for opportunities when maybe I could do it. And there's been a couple opportunities. Well, last year was just absolutely fucking ridiculous for me, okay? Last year, within, within a few months span, just so everyone knows, I had some things going on behind the scenes, like health issues and other things that cost me a lot of money. You guys don't know about them. It's none of your business. It's not something that's publicly going to be disclosed. But I had things that cost me a lot of money out of nowhere, unexpected. It sucks, but it's life, right? Then my tire got stolen off of my car. That, no lie, cost me around $600 plus because it was not just the tire, but the whole wheel assembly I had to replace. I had to replace it in a quick time frame because my wife had to get to work and stuff. So it was a fucking stupid nightmare, right? Then my waste disposal in my sink broke. And I need that because we don't have a lot of trash removal here. I need that every day to get rid of food waste and stuff. So I had to dump a lot of money on that. So essentially, I'm not even kidding you. Within like a six-month time frame, when I looked like I was going to have money, I dropped thousands of dollars on unexpected shit that I had no idea was going to happen, okay? At this point, I'm sorry, but I'm tired of like thinking that I'm going to get into a lucky streak where things aren't going to go bad. It seems like no matter what, this keeps happening. It's now been years that I've been waiting to say, I'm going to get a new PC. I'm going to get a new PC, and I just can't do it. Now, some people have suggested, hey, why don't I do a fundraiser? Why don't I do a special marathon event? The whole idea is to raise money to buy a new PC. I could very well do that, and I'll even tell you as much right now. I genuinely feel 100% that if I did that, that my viewers and supporters would come out and force and support it. I believe that because you guys are amazing. You guys are so supportive and helpful every time like this. You guys help so much. I, I guarantee you, you guys would do that for me. I know that. But I also know you guys aren't rich, you know? So what would end up happening, at least I feel, is this. I would do the marathon. People would support it. I would get enough money for a PC. And then here's what would happen. The entire next month, all of my streams would be slow and low on income because you guys basically became generous to support the PC fund. 
You see? So that's the deal. Like I feel like I I've all you know what, what do they say? You can't get you can't get blood out of a rock or something like that. There's a saying like that, right? And I feel like that's what it is. Like basically, if I keep the the path I'm going, right? I can't ask you guys for any more. But I, I keep getting into situations where I just, I've been waiting. Okay, maybe now I'll save up and have enough. Maybe now I'll save up and have enough. And then all that money keeps having to go to other shit that comes out of nowhere. All right? So right now, I've come to the point where I don't think I can really wait much longer. As I said, this PC is starting to have daily issues. It now has a fan. So on my processor, there's a giant heat sink and two fans. One of the fans died. The other fan is so fucking loud and if I don't have my air conditioner on, I just hear it all day. I'm like, what the fuck? So obviously we're at a point where this is, it's at its, its, its ends here, right? So here's what we're going to do. I've decided. I, have, I sat down. I talked to my wife about it. Basically over this summer when there's a big dead time, no games. It, it's basically all of July and the whole first three weeks of August. There's like nothing going on with games. It's dead, Okay. Once you get to like Black Myth Wukong and games like that, then all of a sudden it picks up for August, September, October gets exciting again. During that <clears throat> lower time, all right, I am going to migrate my setup from my 10-year-old PC to my wife's PC that sits in that room over there completely unused. That PC has been sitting there now for several years, basically never used. When my wife first moved in with me, she was an avid PC gamer. She played games like Overwatch and a couple other things on there she really liked. But since then, she's migrated to console. She absolutely loves the Xbox Series S, and she's talking about getting, long-term, a PS5. She plays games in the living room. It's a better setup in the living room, by the way, than sitting there at the PC playing all day. So that PC is just sitting there unused. That PC is a 2017 PC, so it's at least three plus more years more modern than this one was. It has Windows 10. I believe it has USB 3.1. It basically has better components. Now, exactly what is in there, I don't know yet. What I'm going to do is once we get, basically once we get through this right now, this big chunk of stuff that we're doing, right? Because right now we have uh, The Wakes the Deep, the Elden Ring DLC, right? Then we have uh, uh, Bison and Street Fighter 6, correct? We got all that stuff to get through, right? And then once we get through all of that stuff, all right, then once we get to the slower times of the summer, maybe mid to late July into early August, I'm going to set a time frame that I'm going to do a migration. I'm going to migrate all my shit, my setup from this PC to her PC. Likely I'll have two PCs sitting in here for a few days as I do this migration, switching back and forth between. I got to do a big backup of all my settings in OBS and load it into the new one. I got to migrate all my file systems over. I got to get every, all the components have to start working with this new PC. All right. And since the new PC undoubtedly is going to be stronger than mine, it, I, you know, maybe I could actually eventually do better stuff. Could I actually do even better quality in my videos and stream? Yes, maybe, you know, could I do other things? I don't know. It depends. I w we won't know until we migrate over. The truth is just having a modern operating system right out of the box. I'm going to be able to do things like use the Steam Deck that I've had, excuse me, the Stream Deck that I've had donated by a fan. A fan donated that out of the blue without asking. I didn't even know what it was. They just sent it to me like three plus years ago. Here, have a, have a Stream Deck. Okay. And I looked at it. I was like, oh, this looks amazing. Buttons right here. I could push buttons and have it jump around and do cool stuff. That's neat. Oh, only works with Windows 10 and above. So I can't use it with my PC. And it's sat in its box unused for three years. Right? Just shit like that. Right? So that's going to be neat. That over the summer, it really is looking like we're going to have this project where maybe for like a week, the streams are going to be a little bit more sporadic because I'm going to be doing time migrating over to a new PC, doing all this work, setting it up and stuff like that. We'll probably have test streams. Right, I actually like, oh, here's my first stream on it. We're going to set it up, try to get the settings working, troubleshoot shit that's going wrong because you know shit's going to go wrong. Half my setup probably ain't going to work. You have to understand something. All this stuff that I've been doing is, is hundreds of files. I have all these different backgrounds uh, or borders, I should say. All these different, uh, you know, transitions, these fucking, uh, you know, the leaderboard stuff and all that. It's all different files all over my PC. I have to find where all that shit is. And I have to find a way to transfer that 
from the one PC to the other, right? Likely what I'm going to do is use external hard drives. I'm going to have used some of these external hard drives that I used to use to back up my files. And I'm going to use that to just toss all those files on one and then get it migrated and loaded right into the hard drive of the other, you know, and go from there. Also, there's the whole idea that I don't know but the hard drive system of my wife's PC. So I don't know if there's like a separate hard drive with good storage to store files on, like my videos and shit. I don't know. I don't even know. I have to look. I have to go boot that thing up, get logged into it, do a good reading of all the stats, right? Try to figure it all out and go from there. I may have to actually uh, do some upgrades or something. I don't know. But definitely using that pc is a good idea number one I, I'll, I'll have a more modern pc running on a modern operating system it immediately solves a lot of problems i can update all my shit and everything right which i haven't been able to do on this pc in ages um likely better capturing and all of that right and being able to use more modernized things i'll be able to use this the stream deck and things like that uh lady charisma just said if it has an nvidia gpu you can use nvenc encoding which uses the gpu to encode the stream you could have even higher quality and use NVIDIA broadcast for more improvements. Ex exactly. Like, I don't know what's in there. We'll know till I actually get in there and I take a look at all the stats. But I think that's a better option than me sitting around like an idiot. Well, maybe this will be the year that a bunch of random shit doesn't come up and I have money to finally buy a new PC. I mean, it's been three straight years where I've been waiting and it still hasn't happened. At this point, I think I'd be an ignorant idiot to think that. So this will be the year with their magic rainbow will lead to the pot of gold and the, the fucking leprechaun will come out covered in four leaf clovers riding a unicorn saying, hey, Phil, here's some money for a PC, right? Like it, it just hasn't happened, <laughs> right? So I don't think it's going to happen, all right? So I think it's time. Now, here's the thing. Once I'm using a different PC, now we're in a whole different world. We can now see what is available, what is viable for certain various different things. PC gaming, among other things. I don't know, right? But I just need to get off this PC. Not to say that this PC is dying and it's on its last legs. It looks like it's about to explode. That's not the case. But it's definitely got things going wrong with it. And I need to get that transitioned over. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I know. Dapian says, crazy, in three years, uh, uh, in three years, there hasn't been enough time to be able to save up. Life is mental. I'm I'm not kidding you. I keep I, I keep being in a position where I'm like, okay, we're, I'm going to have this extra money. We're going to be able to do it. And then something happens. It just, it's happened like 10 times. It's fucking ridiculous at this point. You know, and every time it's like, all right, we're going to get past this one. Don't worry. We're going to get past this one. Don't worry. And then it's on to the next bullshit thing. And you got, you guys know about half of them. That's what I'll say. Like for all the things you know about, you know about the tire, you know about the waste disposal. Now just double that, right? And each one of those occurrences is like a $500 plus occurrence, essentially. Just multiply that by two to three, and you'll know exactly what I actually go through here in my life. It's, just, it's insane the amount of shit that I go through. Uh, but it's life. When you're an adult, you got to face this shit. You know, it's going to happen. But it just sucks that it's preventing me from getting to the next level of my content. I can't. I'm still running on outdated shit, right? Like my right now, my preview window of my OBS is choppy as shit. Now, I know my video and stream don't chop, but the preview window is choppy for literally no reason. It's probably my PC setup, right? Like, my, it's outdated, you know. I'm only, supposedly, I'm only using 36% of my CPU. Why is my video setup choppy in OBS right now? And I say to you guys, hey, uh, are, is everything okay with the stream? Because it just looks so choppy. And you guys are like, yeah, everything's fine. I'm like, well, I wish I could see that on my own fucking setup, but I can't. It looks like shit. So anyway, yeah, so this is coming inevitable over the course of this summer, probably late July into early August. There will be some time when I'm not going to be able to do as regular streaming. Instead, I'm going to be doing this big migration from this PC, Cat's PC. We'll see what it. What, what I'm going to do one day is go in there, boot it up, log in, do all the stats, like record all the stats of all the hardware. Here's the hardware. Let's see what capabilities possibly I could actually do with this sucker, right? And then it's going to be a matter of getting it over here, getting it working. And there's this big file migration, right? It's going to be a pain, but I got to, at this point, I got to get it done. I have to. I can't be using the same hardware <laughs> for so long. I mean, it's going to be, seriously, we should have like a fucking, a salute 
funeral, press F to pay respects for this PC. This is absolutely, positively, all right, the longest I've ever used a PC in my life. I've never had a PC for 10 years that I've used. That's insane. I've never, just think about that. Back in the day, every few years you need to upgrade or, or use a new PC. I just used a PC for 10 years for work, 10 years straight. You tell me that you use a piece of equipment 10 years straight for your job and you never had to, to fucking upgrade it. Any piece of equipment. That's just wild that I was able to do that with this PC. And it's just hilarious because the day I bought it, I was told it was a lemon. No, this is actually the best PC I've ever had by far. I, I'm so happy with its performance and the way that it worked for 10 years. It's sad that now I'm, I've got to get move on. But, you know, you got to at some point. You got to move on, right? <laughs> so that's right. Fancy. We're going to have a big funeral. We're going to party. The, se the funeral send off for Phil's 10 year beast of a PC that now has to go away. Uh, on to the future, right? Hello, everyone. Dark Side Phil here. The only detractor channel that I watch is Doody Streams.